Toddy Goldsmith shot to fame in the 80s as one of the founding members of Australia's most iconic girl groups. The Chantuzies made their way up the music charts with their catchy melodies and infectious beats. This month, the girls have been on the road with fellow 80s stars, Banana Rama. Tony Goldsmith joins us now live from our Melbourne studio. Tony, good to have you with us. Sally, Hello. Tom, hi guys. Good. Want to talk to you about Molly. Now, the miniseries kicked off last Sunday. And yeah. the is you guys were on Countdown. You were regulars. What did you think of it? Oh, God, it was amazing. We, we were so young. It was the only platform to go and perform live to get national coverage. Otherwise, we're in you know, pubs and concerts and stuff like that. But to be in a studio with cameras and they had live studio audiences and it was just wild and exciting. It was just an amazing time. Tony, you know Sam Johnson well. He plays yeah. the role of Molly. Uh, yes. What do you reckon of his uh, characterisation? Did he nail it? <laughs> it's just, it's he's bizarre. He's just kind of like climbed into Molly, embodied him. He's going to get what some kind of wild award for that job. It's incredible. He, he, nobody else could have done it like Sam. Yeah. The voice, everything, the mannerisms, the look. He absolutely he's quite, nailed he's it. He's quite brilliant, yeah. Yeah, I agree. You're close with Molly. How do you think that he'd be handling all of this attention? He's kind of... I don't know, it's a double-edged sword because he kind of loves it, but he's kind of shy and quiet. Yeah. But, he's a, you know, he's approved it. It's, it's, I, I don't think he'd be having an issue. I haven't spoken to him about it, but um, I'm sure he's kind of laughing it up. Quite nicely, to be honest. Hey, the Chantuzis <laughs> are on the road at the moment. You're touring with Banana Rama and Wang Chung. Mm. Love, yeah. love Wang love Chung. Chung. Uh, oh, what's up behind Chung. the yeah. scenes? Does everybody Wang Chung? <laughs> everybody is so Wang Chung tonight. <laughs> Those guys are fantastic. We're having the best time with them. And we haven't got to spend as much time with the girls because we go on first and then Wang Chung and then the girls are on afterwards and we've kind of gone. But we've met them and, you know, a bit of a meet and greet with the chicks and they're really lovely. But the Wang Chung boys are so much fun. Yeah, we had and the Wang fantastic. Chung guys. On and oh, it you was, did? Yeah. Everyone yeah. Wang Chung. We loved it. it still we Wang Chung for like a week. <laughs> we yeah. Oh no, we'll just keep Wang Chunging. <laughs> so we're still we're still touring. We've got quite a few gigs to do. We've we've done um, New South Wales, but we've still got Queensland and Melbourne, and we've got quite a lot of um, gigs left. And they've just sold out really well. What are the audiences like? Are the audiences just going crazy? Yes. One word. Yep. <laughs> Loving it. From the minute we get out, I mean, it's just so great because they're so familiar with us and we, we set the tone and get the whole vibe happening and it's just a big party and it's fantastic. We are loving it because yes. it's all fun and no responsibility. We're out for about half an hour, so it's not like we're hold, you know, they're holding the whole thing up and just everyone is having a really good time. Backstage is a vibe, on stage is a vibe, the audience is a vibe. It's oh, sensational. Good. Yeah. Uh, Toddy, really you good. broke out during a, a pretty golden era for pop music, as did Banana Rama. Do you think you'd be as successful if you'd start it now? You don't really see as much of the, the pop groups going mm. over, apart from One Direction, of course. Yeah, but. I, think, I think the whole kind of girl band, boy band thing was a real 80s, 90s thing. I mean, I don't know, it's, it's so hypothetical. It just is too hypothetical, but there's something about this era of music that we've got longevity. And we went back in 2005 and did the Countdown um, Spectacular tour that Michael Gadinsky and Molly Meldrum pulled together. And it just kind of really got the, the vibe happening again. And we've been working fairly solidly ever since. And, and sorry? You've got a big year ahead, right? We've got a massive year. We're, um, we do a lot of work, um, gigs with... Um, Pure Gold Live, which is a, all the some bands from the late 70s, 80s and 90s right around the country, which are great fun. We're doing Cruise and Groove in October and um, John Farnham's headlining and JPY and John English, all the Johns, Eurogliders, Pseudo Echo, us, a whole lot of other bands. So we're off on some mad cruise in October, which supposedly is going to be fantastic. <laughs> and we've just got, we've got some amazing bookings that sounds... this year. So it's a big, big Chantuzzi year. Yeah. Good on you guys. Yeah. Sounds like such a fun cruise. <laughs> like I can just oh, imagine so the backstage. Oh. <laughs> Sounds a bit dangerous. Ali from the band said, you know, with the cocktail list, you go in colour. You start from the lightest colour and work your way through to the really dark colour cocktails. It's going to be a bit scary, I think. <laughs> have a good time, Tony. Thanks, oh, thank you. Good to Great have you to with see us. you guys. Chantuzis are currently on tour with Bananarama. If you want any of the details, just head across to our website. All the dates.